Hello and welcome to another video on Inkscape. In this video I'm just going to be showing you how you can use simple methods to rotate objects evenly around a circle. Uh, stay tuned and we'll reproduce this daisy design. So to get started I'm going to create the centre of our flower. So I'm going to come up to the ellipse tool. I'm just going to drag out a circle. So we'll hold down control to constrain it to a circle. That's so big a do me. Then I'm going to press Control D to duplicate. Let's get the selection tool. I'm going to drag this up. I'm going to convert this into our petals. So what I want to do is press Control D again, and then we can drag this off sideways. So over in our snapping menu down the right hand side, I've got the first section enabled and snapping to boundary box edge midpoints. And I've got the third section enabled so we can snap to object center points and rotational centers. So when we come back up to our circle here, we can drag this in so that the center of the circle snaps to the midpoint of the boundary box edge. Now if we hold down shift, we can select the second circle, we can come up to path, and we can come down to intersection. So now we've created our petal, I want to color the petal so it starts white at the bottom and then just has a pinkish tint at the top. So to do this, I'm going to come up and I'm going to click on the button for our fill and stroke dialog box. I'm going to come down and give it a linear gradient. I'm then going to come down and grab our gradients tool. And I'm going to move one of these stops up near the top and the other one about halfway down looks good. And then while the, the center stop is selected, I'm going to increase the opacity and I'm going to change it to white. And if we click on the top stop, I want this to be pink, so I'm going to drag it across to red, and then I'm going to drag the stop down just to get a pinkish tint. While we've got the gradient tool selected, I think I'll just come down, we select our circle, we come over, we select a radial gradient. I'm going to click on the outside stop. I want to increase the opacity up to full opacity. I'm going to leave that quite dark. I'm going to select the middle stop and I'm just going to lighten that a little bit. So I think that'll do me. I'm going to come up, get the selection tool. Then I want to drag the petal and then I want to snap the boundary box midpoints together. So now we've got our first petal in place. I want to reproduce this and put several of them round in a circle. When we rotate, we want to be rotating around the centre of the circle and not round the center of our petal. So if we click again to get our rotational center, we can drag this and snap it to the center of our circle. So now when we rotate our petal, it will rotate around our circle. Press Control Z to get it back in the middle. I want to put 10 petals around the outside. So I want each step or each rotation to be 360 degrees divided by 10 which would make 36 degrees. The default for constrained rotation is 15 degrees. I can hold down control, hold onto a rotation handle, and I can rotate it in 15 degree increments. But I wanna rotate it in 36 degree increments. So to do this, I'm gonna come up to the top here, and I'm gonna click on the global preferences at the top. So in here, oh, I've already come down to it. So when you come down, you've got behavior, if we click on the triangle in front of behavior, it will create a drop down menu. We want to be looking at steps. So let's click on steps. And in here, we've got uh, rotation snaps every, and we've got it set to 15 degrees at the moment. If we click on this, we can come up and up here, you see it's got an option for 36 degrees. So if we click on 36 degrees, that will give us 10 petals around our circle. So now we've set up our rotation. We can come back out, we can press Control D to duplicate our petal, then holding down Control to constrain the rotation to increments, we grab hold of a rotation handle and rotate it around once. Then we can press Control D again, holding down Control, we can rotate it around. And of course, because we've got our finger on Control anyway, it's just a matter of pressing D, rotating around. So now we've got, so now we've got all of our petals in place. 
I think I'm just going to shrink down the center. I have the center slightly smaller on our other one, the circle. So if we select the circle, I'm going to hold down Control and Shift. This will constrain the proportions so it scales evenly and it will make it scale around the center. So if we hold on to the handle, we can just drag it in to wherever we like. About there will do me, I think. The last thing I had was a blue background, a light blue background. So if we grab, we just grab a rectangle, drag a rectangle over the top. We give it a, a pale blue fill colour and then I'm going to take that down so it's more of a sky blue. Then if we've got our selection tool, we can just drop that down to the bottom so it's behind our daisy design. We can then come in, zoom in, a bit too far. And there we have our completed daisy design. So that's one way we can rotate objects evenly around circle. There are a couple of other methods that we can use. I've covered these in my video on transform and tiled clones. So if you want to watch those, click on the link above and you can see some alternate methods. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.